Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Nisha Charles. This edition's top stories. The Department of the Public Service assists public servants in transitioning to retirement. The national swim team returns home to a hero's welcome. The fisheries complex revamped. All that plus the NTN Nouvelle Arcoyon. The Department of the Public Service has concluded a three-day workshop dubbed Transitioning to Retirement. The exercise sought to impart vital information to public sector employees nearing retirement on how to cope with the new chapter in their lives. Julita Peter reports. The Transitioning to Retirement workshop program started in 2010 when it was recognized that individuals had a difficulty making the transition from work life to retirement. Training officer at the Department of the Public Service Training Division, Maria Mombelli, noted that the workshops offer invaluable information to the participants. So this is why the public service from since 2010 and backed on that, I would call it a journey for the public servants, where we offer this um, workshop. And um, they come in um, where we cover a number of topics. For instance, they would be they would have information on how they can calculate the benefits because a lot of persons, they want to have an idea of what they will receive um, at that point of their life. Facilitators are drawn from the public and private sector, some of which include the Ministry of Finance, the banking sector, the Small Enterprise Development Unit, SEDU, and the Inland Revenue Department. Personal banking and budgeting are among the several discussion topics. As we know at that point, the salary is less and your commitments remain the same. Um, your commitments are not reduced, but in your salary is reduced. How do you work with that, le with less salary and the same commitments? Um, we also have uh, doctors coming in to speak with them on their health, on their nutrition. Because, you know, as you get to that point, that stage of your life, then um, you have start having medical issues. We have, again, a lawyer coming in to speak to them on their deeds, how to prepare their deed, and other issues, that, um, other legal issues that they can deal with. Ms. Mombelli, in her words of encouragement to the workshop participants, stated that retirement from a job is not retirement from life. From the Department of the Public Service Communications Unit, I'm Julita Peter reporting. The national swim team has returned home to a hero's welcome following a spectacular performance in Peru. Ryan O'Brien has the details. St. Lucia's swim contingent to the Ioana Swimming Cup returned home successful following the event held in the Peruvian capital, Lima. The five-member team returned home with six gold medals, seven silver and one bronze medal. They ranked fifth out of 25 countries in the medal hall and eighth in team points with a combined total of 157 points. It earned them second overall among teams from the Caribbean. Minister responsible for Youth Development and Sports, the Honorable Edmund Estefan, congratulated the swim team on their outstanding representation of the island in a meet that saw swimmers from North, Central and South America as well as the Caribbean islands competing. So let me on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia Congratulate you once again. You did tremendously well. So thank you for, you know, for all your talent on show. Thank you for everything you are doing. And we hope that it will continue throughout 2020 and throughout 2021. Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney also had some words of encouragement for the team as they return home from Peru. Hard work always produces success, okay? And I don't know of anybody that I have ever met who is successful that they didn't have hard work, they weren't disciplined, and they were not focused. Um, so I wanna really congratulate you guys um, on what you've been able to achieve and say to you from the government of St. Lucia, and I can also speak on behalf of the people of St. Lucia, how proud we are of what you've been able to achieve. And we're looking forward to even greater days Ahead. The swim team comprised Tristan Dorville, Antoine Destang, Carrie Charles, Ethan Hazel, and Nina Hazel. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.
The Regional Security System RSS headquarters, through the 10th European Development Fund, has procured much-needed crime scene investigations equipment for member territories of the organization, inclusive of a significant amount of products for law enforcement in St. Lucia. The formal presentation of equipment, set for Wednesday, March 4th, 2020, will be presided over by Minister for Home Affairs, Justice and National Security, the Honorable Herman Gil Francis, along with the Acting Commissioner of Police, Mr. Milton Daisy. RSS officials say it is expected that the equipment will help improve the operational capacity of the various member states. The array of equipment includes protective gear such as CSI overalls, gloves, face masks, boots, glasses, and evidence bags, to name a few of the articles procured. A delegation of senior officials from the RSS will be on island for this very important occasion. The presentation ceremony will take place at the Sandals Regency Latok Golf Resort and Spa from 2 p.m. The fisheries complex has been rebranded and is now under new management. Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods Inc. has officially opened and promises to offer St. Lucians a lot more than fresh fish and seafood. Here's Anissa Antoine. The week of St. Lucia's 41st birthday was indeed a special one. Not only did it mark another significant milestone for St. Lucia, but it also marks the launch and official opening of Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods Inc. The newly rebranded company known previously as the Fisheries Complex is now a public-private partnership and has been given a major facelift on both the inside and out. According to the general manager, John Sutton, the company aims to change how most people see the industry by enhancing the quality of its product, improving the aesthetics of its environment, and building long-term partnerships with local fishermen island-wide. Lucian Blue Ocean Seafood is held to the highest standards, and we believe it's important for food security and safety in our country. Therefore, we strive to ensure that our product is of highest quality while feeding the nation one catch at a time. Our processes, practices, and handling of our products is included, to, to include production and storage is guided by both local and international standards. We will never be compromised as our sites are set on entering the export market Though Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods provides mainly fish, the company has recently expanded its offerings to include complementary products such as ground provisions, a minimat, and a delicatessen which offers breakfast and lunch, among other things. Sutton says that the company has a new vision for the area which will create opportunities and generate income for many St. Lucians. We are encouraging all stakeholders to play their part in creating and developing the space and to aim to provide an atmosphere that will attract persons in the area to include cruise passengers en route to the city. This area we expect will take on a new life of its own, something we all will be proud of. Seraphine Bayfront, as it will be called, will be the new hotspot for entertainment in, to include jazz, carnival, Creole festival, and other activities. The Honorable Prime Minister, along with the Ministers for Agriculture and Economic Affairs, were present to show their support for what they consider a positive step in the right direction for the blue economy of St. Lucia. Economic development of any country, um, the things that we always hear about is finance, we hear about infrastructure, but there's a soft part component to it that we don't hear often about, and it's called attitude. If we're not going to recognize that we're in a business in which we have to broaden our market and to become substantially more competitive. Kancha Samuel, a fisherman from the Denry village, also shared his thoughts on the new partnership with Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods. I want to give God thanks for Blue Ocean Seafoods, where they could accommodate us, you know, as fishermen. It was a very sad thing, you know, to know that you go out there, leaving your families, you know, at 3.30 in the morning, coming in and not knowing where you're going to sell your fish. 
But today with Blue Oceans, you know, being on board with us as fishermen, we want to thank them in a very special way, you know, for this opportunity. The launch of Lucian Blue Ocean Seafoods Inc. additionally received the support of the Castries Fishermen's Cooperative, among several other restaurants and business houses. Officials of the company are excited about the way forward and positive impact the business will have on fish lovers, fishermen, the tourism industry, and the island's overall economy. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. And this is the NTN Nightly. We'll be back in a moment. Pamela, I noticed that you built your retaining wall on my property. You will have to give me my land back or compensate me for that. My contractor isn't dumb. I trust that he will not build anything on your property. Where is your proof? Let's go to court. This situation does not require you to go to court. Looks like we have to go through mediation here. Mediation is a way people resolve conflicts like this. Someone, a third party, comes to speak to both parties. This person is called the mediator. The mediator is impartial. He or she makes sure that communication between both parties is effective and efficient. So, the mediator is a judge? No, the mediator is not a judge. Mediators, unlike judges, do not decide cases or impose settlements. Let me get a mediator to handle this retaining wall and that kitchen. Kitchen? Yes, your kitchen also falls on my land. Let me call the mediator. Welcome back. The Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, is projecting regional economic growth to increase to 4.1% in 2020, buoyed by rapid growth in Guyana. To Sankin English Francis of CARICOM News Time reports. Speaking at the bank's annual news conference, President of the bank, Dr. Warren Smith, cautioned that wider regional economic growth will be uneven. He urged borrowing member countries to pursue policy reforms that were conducive to sustainable growth rates. We're projecting regional GDP growth of 4.1% consistent with expectations of accelerated global economic activity. With estimated daily production of about 100,000 barrels of oil, Guyana should dominate regional growth performance this year. Other growth drivers in the region should be the construction, tourism, and agriculture sectors. But economic growth will remain lopsided and below the sustainable rates needed for long-term resilience. Borrowing members must stay on course with their homegrown socioeconomic reform programs. Others should join the bandwagon and commence with alacrity implementation of their own adjustment programs. And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next is Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Arquion. In an effort to reduce congestion within the nation's capital, the Castries Constituency Council will be implementing short-term paid parking in a phased approach. Ten terminals will be installed on the following streets. Bridge, Brogley, Urban, Jabatiste, Miku, Labry, Pena, High Street, and in the William Peter Boulevard. Short-term paid parking will run from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Saturday. To find out more, log on to the Castries Constituency Council's Facebook page. $3 an hour could save you $500 in parking tickets. Short-term paid parking, coming soon. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Arquion. Merci autant, Nisha. Merci, Madame Department, qui n'est pas responsable pour information. Uh, gouvernement cette ici GIS à uh, ce télévision nationale pays à uh, NTN Capacito Nouvelle à Creole Capacito Primus Hutchinson Une division un département éducation qui va se pour guider les étudiants par service conseil qui y aura pour tuer te tenir une session d'entraînement pour essayer établir l'esprit des bons amis en chambre d'études à l'école pays ça fait en collaboration 
et puis Mlle Lovely Sheridan et qui ont agence des ambassades pour initiative de bonnes amis ça là. Et FOA, c'est pour établir bonnes amis en parmi les étudiants de l'école. Et c'est une initiative. Yon méritien, qui aussi c'est un écrivain et éducateur, qui a aussi fait grand l'honneur pour travailler. Ça c'est Lovely Sheridan. Le programme là, principalement, c'est pour décourager les plus forts pour pas prendre l'avantage à ceux les plus faibles à l'école. Le programme là a aussi placé attention à sous l'âge 4 ans pour 10 ans et qu'à garder manière pour faire public là plus au courant et aussi pour essayer de battre la situation à l'école PIA. Mme Sheridan a aussi pris une autre initiative pour encourager la bonne santé civile à parmi les jeunes qui sont à l'école secondaire. Atelier ambassade des bonnes amies à l'école est venu en existence pour supporter les instituteurs et les éducateurs pour entretenir la culture à l'école PIA pour agendouer plus l'amitié, la dignité, l'honnêteté et le respect en parmi les autres à l'école cette ci Ces instituteurs apprennent une manière pour adresser la situation à une manière qui a existé en parmi les étudiants et que les participants ont reçu un certificat qui a montré qu'ils ont assisté à l'IA. Plusieurs représentatifs qui ont conseillé les étudiants à l'école PIA et qui ont représenté les instituteurs sortir à chaque école secondaire et aussi le représentatif de Special Education Center, ça c'est un centre d'éducation spéciale, Boys Training Center, c'est un centre pour guider les jeunes garçons à la vie sociale, et aussi Upton Gardens Girls Center, qui est assisté à l'atelier. Plus que 26 écoles premières et secondaires, j'ai une facilité de bonnes amies et dernier set l'école qui vous suivre pour comme ça. C'était Debawa Combine, l'école première Wondidon, Millet Combine, l'école secadaire Babono, Belvé Combine, en parmi l'autre qui vous suivez. Et tout le toujours. Après une deuxième discussion sur coup, qui est organisée par le directeur général pour l'Organisation de santé mondiale concernant les mauvaises maladies de Corona, la COVID-19, un pays de République Chine, comme il y a déjà d'accord que la situation mérite déclarer un danger de santé publique et internationale. L'organisation n'a pas eu ce qui a augmenté plus en pays international. Le conseil a international. Conseil, je conseille tout pays pour prendre toutes ces démarches qui sont nécessaires pour veiller, pour s'en être observé et ménager la situation de la plus vite que possible. A effort pour placer les restrictions à ce possibilité de maladie sala pour entrer en cette ci Le département de santé a placé les restrictions à ce les citoyens Chine qui, en ces 14 jours qui passaient, étaient en pays Chine. Le département de santé a aussi noté que la jeune a une augmentation de la maladie sala en pays international et a aussi simé en 29 pays de la Chine, côté 23 personnes qui sont en cause de lui, en résultat de ça. Le département de santé a l'on j'y a sous ces restrictions à ce pays comme Hong Kong, qui n'est pas 4, 14 cas avec des gens qui ont déjà, aussi Corée, qui n'est 763 cas avec 7 gens qui ont déjà, Japon, 944 cas côté de gens qui ont déjà, et Singapour, et puis 89 cas. Les restrictions sont venues en place le 26 février. N'importe quel policier qui est retourné dans ces pays, qui a trouvé en bas de section, pour 14 jours, le département de santé a aussi découragé les gens pour ne pas voyager à ce pays-là si ce pas très nécessaire. En continuation, on apprend nous à son adresse du Premier ministre Honorable Alain Chasney pour l'anniversaire de l'indépendance 2020. Nous avons posé attention nous à son appel du Premier ministre pour l'année plus longue et l'amitié en parmi cette liste. Le Premier ministre a servi pour exemple. Action Brand Jean, un caïl audience en Dallas, Texas, côté invisiblement moutoué l'amitié et par donation pour femme police là qui physique et ça c'est beau femme Jean, pendant un garçon entier à caïl li kaposé. Premier ministre Chasney fait référence pour l'autre ville habitée qui a dommagé le pays cette ci comme un monde qui a fait coacher à son paiement taxi avec l'argent du gouvernement, soit pour l'hôpital, la douane. Et bien, le département de police, selon le Premier ministre, il est véritablement 
pas acceptable que 95% tickets qui département trafic police posé à sous chauffeur l'auto yo pas ka payer le ministre a fait la peine de vieux l'habitude de problèmes sociaux qui a pesé à ce cette ci et nous a ignoré à l'école à ces communes et réalité à ces si le premier ministre là c'est yo ka vivre à ce nous premier ministre chasne dit que ces vieux l'habitude là pas ka dou bout si nous même pas mettre en bouteille il mentionne service média social à ce ci qui c'est un outil de communication qui est nécessaire mais nous ka servir à façon qui à l'avantage qui pas l'avantage pays nous a servi plutôt pour dégliser mal parler et placer pays nous à dans vieille publicité premier ministre chasné euh tu as fait un appel et ben il fait un appel pour nous dou bout vieille habitude ça là et pour nous travailler et coopérer ensemble pour cette ici venir un meilleur pays il servi pour exemple cette lycéen qui a brassé principe de bonne conduite et croyance et l'amitié pour cette ici pour exemple Darren Sammy, Levan Spencer, Julian Alfred, Imani Melius a parmi plusieurs les autres. Alors, premier ministre Chastney qui a plaidé et puis citoyens cette ici pour coopérer ensemble, pour tenir cette ici net, pour tuer, renforcer, protéger et nous pour nous-mêmes et à nous toutes célébrer yo qui a fait bon succès pour payer comme nous a mettre attention pour continuer pour ce développement pays cette ici d'ova. Et c'est comme ça nous avons votre nouvelle là. Nous avons remercié autant pour regarder. Nous avons eu une invitation pour jeûner. Puis moi encore, si vous conservez la vie, nous avons posé votre nouvelle en créole. Après ça, nous avons posé votre nouvelle. Merci au Pil Primus. Et here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Fair to partly cloudy skies becoming cloudy at times with some scattered showers. Light to moderate easterly winds generated by the Atlantic high pressure system will continue across the Eastern Caribbean region over the next few days. A weak surface trough will continue to cause occasional cloudiness and scattered showers over parts of the region during the next 24 hours. The seas moderate with waves 4 to 6 feet or 1.2 to 1.8 meters. The sun will rise Friday at 6.21 a.m. And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Nisha Charles.